Hello everyone and welcome back to GTA 5 for a special episode of Manhunt. This time, instead of just using whatever random cars I've been able to find sitting around on the side of the road, I've got myself a Rocket Voltic. Um, this is a car that not only is it based on the um, on the Voltic, which is the, um, the, the GTA 5 version of the Tesla Roadster and is a really nice fast car, it also has a rocket booster on the back of it so I can get an extra massive boost burst of speed out of it it's um well almost any time but I need to have a, uh, a certain amount of cooldown between bursts of uh, bursts of rocketing <clears throat> so this is going to be interesting in order to try and keep things fair we have of course let said that the uh, hunters can use absolutely any vehicles they want so they're probably all going to be coming after me in supercars there'll be banshees and infernuses and and all, and the like um, all on my tail Ooh. And they're probably fairly evenly matched with a normal Voltic. However, this one has the rocket on the back. And that's going to lead to some interesting um, moments, I hope. Especially as I'm, I'm reliably informed oops, that um, if you fire the rocket when there's, when there's another car right behind you, it has a habit of blowing the other car away in the sort of the, the recoil from the rocket boost. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to be fun. I kind of oh, look forward to playing with that if I can keep the car intact for long enough. Whee! <laughs> the other downside of it is every time I fire the rocket, there's a fairly high chance that I'm going to do that and just go smash into another vehicle or into a building or something. But it is kind of fun, so I'm going to, I'm going to use it far more than is actually sensible. <laughs> okay, so... I'm not going to try and do anything too clever otherwise with game modes or anything like that because it's going to be fairly it's going to be a fairly silly episode I will happily admit that also turns out once you've fired it you can't stop it firing it's just going to keep going for that second or so of boost so it's not a it's not like a sort of a turbo that you can turn on and off at, um, at short notice but as I said the um, the standard Voltic is a see that car it was so dark inside the road um, the standard Voltic is a pretty quick car so I don't think I need to actually keep using the uh, the boost all the time in order to cover ground at a decent speed I'm also a bit close to the casino where Mike is going to be lurking with his, uh, his sniper rifle let's get out of here <laughs> that, is amazing. that is fantastic I do rather like this car oh the rocket's not charged up again yet um, yeah, so we're just going to try and cover some ground and uh, keep a stay away from the hunters. This is a, as I said, this is a, it is a really fast car, so going in straight lines is is, a, is is going to work quite well. It also handles quite well though, um, despite the way I've been driving so far. It, it is it is a good handling car, and it's one of the reasons I like it. Um, and disappointingly, I, I, as I say, I really like this car, but I almost—they don't seem to be—they don't seem to be spawning in, in GTA Online. They never seem to be part of the spawn set. So, whilst they are great cars and they're one of my favourites, uh, even without the rocket, how was that a fail? I went over it with the rocket burning. Um, yeah, even though they're ridiculously quick and just generally nice cars, even without the rocket, they don't seem to spawn very often. Um, and I don't really know why not. So, so yeah, it's a bit of a, a bit of a shame. Ooh, go down here. We're playing our basically our normal rules. They're uh, they're not allowed to shoot me from um, inside their cars. They they are allowed to use supercars. We've um, we're allowing that for this this run because, as I said, just to try and keep keep a little bit of balance in the game. You know. Um, ooh, let's go down here actually. Go down. I heard I heard tire squeal. Maybe it was my tire squeal. Uh, let's go on the railway lines. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yes. Yeah, so, so for balance, we're letting them use use their supercars, but they have to um, they have to they have to basically try and smash me into a wall so that I can't I can't get away, and then they can. Oh, that's a problem. <laughs> the um, yeah, it was Paul's car. He's just dropped offline, so of course my car is uh, despawning. Um, that is unfortunate. Uh, let's carry on anyway. It, it, it spoils the whole um, whole idea of using the uh, rocket Voltic, but I can 
but I'll, I'll summon one of my cars instead um, and get we'll get one of the good ones and we'll try using that and see how it goes so you're now your garage. You, hopefully uh, need me to bring you a ride? let's request that I'll car. bring it by hopefully I'm in a I am in a quite a weird place here so hopefully they won't the um, the hunters won't find me while I'm down here trying to I heard a smashing noise trying to find a car now the mechanic will deliver my car to a road somewhere nearby there it is right let's use that that looks like a pair of, of uh, 9Fs, presumably with hunters. I'm getting out of here. Right, we'll see how long this takes them to, uh, to catch me. I mean, I am... I do now have a bit of a speed advantage, so... I don't know, I don't know whether this is fair or not, but I'm going to go with it for a couple of minutes. I think if it takes them a long time to catch me, I'm going to switch to just a normal supercar because I have changed the rules. Oh no, they're, they're keeping up with me. I, I don't think I need to. I don't think I need to worry about fairness. They are. Their 9Fs are just as fast as my tyrants. Alright, get out of it. Let me do an indoor braking maneuver on you or something. Those 9Fs are properly quick. I'm at the oh, that was not going the way I wanted it to be. Let's go back this way. Did I do a crash assisted end? Yeah, I did. Uh, he's still, be still with me, though. Oh. I mean, the Tyrus is basically a racing car. It should be. And I'm stuck. Oh, no. My tyres. No. Yeah, I've definitely lost. I think it's the back, back, back right tyre. I um, feel that vibrating. That's going to go fairly soon, and we're not going to have a lot of luck at that point. Although, that's, it's going okay. I mean, for a car that's lost at least one tyre, this is handling quite well. This might be the secret advantage of the Tyrus. It can keep going even with the tyres. Oh, maybe it's the front right tyre. That's I don't know if that's the best one. Oh, it was a rock. Um... Maybe the Tyrus' secret advantage is that it's actually okay when it's missing a tyre. And this is, yeah, surprisingly good. Where does this road go? I do need to switch to another car, though, one that's actually got all of its tyres. But I don't want to switch to a bad car because they're all in 9Fs. They're really, really quick. I need to find a Banshee or a Coquette or something like that. Something quick. Okay, this is heading me, taking me back, back down towards the beach. Um, I know this area. Yeah, they're, they're gone for now. Is it? No, this is not taking me down towards the beach. I'm going the opposite way to where I thought it was. Um, oh, that might do. Yeah, that'll do. It's a... Um, I forget what they're called, but, they're, but that's a reasonably quick vehicle. I'm going to take that. Oh, shit. Oh, fusillade. That's what it says. Yeah, it'll do. Take the opportunity. Oh, not again! Oh, already! Jeez. And it's a, it's that rear tire as well. That's not gonna do well for me. <laughs> that car did not last very long. Oh no! It's 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 undrivable. It's a sports car with a missing tire. I just want to get down onto that road down there, and then I can switch into that coquette. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Back in the car. <laughs> can't believe that. Oh, I can't believe I survived that. I can't believe I'm still going. It's amazing. Oh. <laughs> this is not my uh, not my finest work. <laughs> Can I get through here? No, because I can't drive because I've got no tyres. Ah, oh. well, I got a little bit of revenge. That'll have to do. <laughs> and over to their viewpoint. Let's see how that went for them. 
Okay, Lawrence is um, <clears throat> on the highway outside the airport, heading towards Lisey Island. So, uh, Paul, take the next left, please. Everybody else, go out and then right, left, right, left. You know how it rolls. Um, let's think, how are we going to deal with this one? Hmm, everyone keep going straight. An Inferno's there. Shut up. <laughs> that's, that's one here as well. I mean, Inferno's there's four up here. Um, Paul, can you do the next left, please? Okay, so assuming he stays on the highway, we're just going to go over and meet him? So we're currently working on the grounds that we're going to get in front of him. Now, I appreciate that this could cause all of you to end up getting launched into the air with maximum hilarity ensuing. So we're going to work with it carefully and tactically. Okay, Paul, you've just encountered... Uh, is that Paul? I think just encountered him. Um, yeah, that's me. Uh, so, yep, turn right please, yellow turn right, orange turn right. Uh, purple take the next right please, yellow and orange turn right please. Um, purple, orange and yellow, he's at the intersection in front of you now, so turn right. Pink, take the next right, please. And then continue down that road. And purple turn right. And then left. And then left immediately. Or did he go down? He, went, um, he might have gone down. Um, okay, he went orange left and yellow turn, turn right. Pink, slow down a bit. Orange. He's he's just off. Oh, he's gone onto the train tracks. That's where he's going. Oh, boy. So he's uh, ahead. Towards the casino, so if you actually if you can get down there onto the train tracks, so orange yep. just left there should work. I think you appear to have dropped off my map, either that or I've gone blind. Yeah, Paul's left. So purple straight up that way, that's great. Yellow, if you can follow that I'm one on the train track. Uh, I can't see on my map. He appears to have just gone off the train track. Purple, you've just I gone past the car. Him. Yellow uh, the other pink. way. I say pink's on the train track. There's an empty. Uh, here. I oh. can't see on the map, Paul, I'm afraid. You're you definitely in a session. You, uh, good thing. Need me to bring you are calling in a session on your own. I'll Shit. bring it by. No. Oh, that, um, Orange, so you have one to bailed out of the Baltic because he can't get in it. Ah, okay. Good. Um, yellow, you've just got past him, he's mucking about off road just there. So, yellow and purple, can you turn to your right and try and proceed back up towards that main road which is just joining? It should be to your right as you've gone to that road. Orange? Orange, can you hard 180, please? He's got into his uh, personal vehicle. No. I'm right behind him. Which I think is fair, yeah. given. He could he bailed out of a rocket Baltic at high speed. Yeah, it's fair. Uh, orange, can you take not this one, but the next right? Yes. I Thank cannot keep up with him. Are you back in session, Paul? I am. You I'm are, yes. You want to do the airplane? So I am going to when I get Orange, take near the next a point. God, I need to change a different spawn point. This is awful. And then Orange at this junction, is, is Lawrence high or low at the moment? Uh, he's Orange. low. He's not anywhere near that. Orange, turn left. Yellow, turn right. Yellow, turn right. Actually, no, yellow goes straight, sorry. Going low. Orange, turn left. Yeah, turn around, turn around. Back the yellow, other way. turn right. Orange, stop at this intersection. He is coming from your left, up high, I think. No. No, he's not. No, he's still low. You should all be on top. Uh, I can't see Paul again. Oh, crap. No, I've lost him. He's, looks like he's crashed. He's 
just in front of you there, Purple. So you should be seeing him now. Yep, he's, he's nicked a different car. No worries. If you can do something painful to him, that would be much appreciated. Yellow, I'm can you take the tire. next right, please? Orange, can you come off the highway there, left, please? Can we take the next left, please? Yeah. I can't see him now, like. He's coming to block. No, keep going that way, Purple. Keep right. Uh, like Yellow, that. can you turn right there, please? Are you okay there, Orange? You've gone stationary. No, somewhere. no, it's uh, it's starting to stop. Uh, Yellow, you run right on top from there, Yellow, sorry. Stop, uh, and then turn left onto the highway. Which bring you around to a slightly weird one. They're on the opposite side of the highway. Do a hard U turn left. <laughs> he's dodging round me. And he's, he's on the highway just under the bridge. You should see them there. Okay, so orange is static and not moving. Yeah. Paul, Paul's back. I think it's. Yep. Uh, I just take you in an aircraft, Paul. Yep. Keep proceeding in that direction. You right. let you move it again. Orange, that's good. If you could turn left there, please, Orange. Okay, Paul, if you could turn 45 degrees left. And you are... Yeah, that's good. You are over them now. Nice. Rude. I oh, know. He ran me over. I thought he killed me. Is he... Hey, got you got him? Yes, he's dead. You got him. Good work. Forced him back into the, his car that has a, a flat tyre. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Good work. I found the rocket voltage and got confused and realised you probably bailed out of it at high speed unintentionally. No, when... I, I, um, Paul left and the voltage despawned around me.